OpenDB is a very, very popular software. If you're not aware about it, I will give you an example. It is inspired by, or, you know, it at least aspires to be the Bloomberg Terminals open source replacement. So Bloomberg has a, you know, very, very famous terminal. I think a lot of people are aware about it. And it's probably the most powerful, flexible, you know, it's just the most popular terminal out there. And what is a terminal? It's basically shows you all of the market data. There's a lot of features around it. It covers all the tickers. It gives you data and insights, a lot of different collaboration, different sort of assets. And basically it helps you make money, take trades, do a lot of stuff, right? And it, it's probably the most de facto or popular tool in the world. But OpenBB used to be, or at least, you know, it still is, is an open source replacement for the Bloomberg terminal. However, some time back, like I've, I've been using this over the years. However, now I see them that they have rebranded themselves as AI powered research and analytics workspace where you can integrate, visualize and analyze data all in one place. A little bit of marketing. It's free for individuals. I don't know what happened to the open source nature of it but it is free for individuals. I will show you how it looks and works. Uh, the AI features I'm going to cover in the next video because then this video is going to get very long. So let's talk about the features and see a deep dive. You can basically have all the data here. You can look at structured and unstructured data. You can upload your files. You can connect to proprietary sources. You can actually request them to look at sources that are not even available there. It has a very, very flexible interface, graphs, all of widget driven. Somewhere I feel it's also very tight. I would have been a little happier if it was less, you know, it's, it gets very complicated and you'll see in a minute. The AI Copilot is completely new. It's the agent to unlock workflows, insights and do a lot of automation. I am not going to talk about it today, but as I'm scanning through the website, I think it will be evident that we cannot have the conversation, you know, without touching about it. So again, a little bit of compound AI system designed to do a lot of analysis. You can have a chatbot which can integrate to variety of different data sources, package data, data endpoint, databases, websites, feeds, different backends. And then you have all of these sharing abilities. You have an Excel add-in and it's SOC compliant and all of that. So that's what you see here. There are a couple of terminals. The terminal is the one that I'm going to show. It's free for individuals. The Terminal Pro is a paid option. Then there's the whole platform, which is more geared towards, I would say, developers and open source enthusiasts. These are the GitHub is available. The licensing. I'm not sure what's the licensing that they are running these days. Uh, yeah, this is AGPL, which means that whatever you write, you'll also have to publish. So you'll have, it's kind of a derivative open source license, but Again, if you're interested in it, I uh, will we'll make a different video for it. The intent for this is to do everything over APIs, just a one minute overview. So whatever operations you can do in OpenBB, you can, most of them, you can do using programmatic API. So if you have, if you want to build a wrapper interface, like a simplified interface, you can actually have OpenBB terminal underlying it and then use its workflow system to power your apps. That's that's the whole idea around it. And you can access the entire code base. You can build it or use it to build your own finance project. I don't know if you can commercially use it. I don't think so, given the AGPL nature of the license. But again, hey, uh, not an expert in that space. Coming back to the products, there is the Excel plugin, which we are not going to talk about. And again, it's also paid, by the way, and the terminal. Pro. We'll talk about the terminal. Before I go that, I want to go to pricing. So shows you all the features in terms of the terminal pro there are some additional features like you know snowflake mysql connection seven of that you can simulate all of that in a in using apis actually if, if you want an open bb as well but i haven't done that no clue about the pricing things seems to have changed drastically drastically here used to be aware about these things if you are interested in doing a deep dive into open bb terminal Please let me know in the comments and I will reach to them and, you know, maybe even bring somebody from OpenBB team and have a chat on the channel as to what's, you know, what's, what's the whole deal about, right? There's a lot of features that people could be interested in. All right. So click get started or it will take you to a sign in page. 
sign in with google which is very very straightforward i have already done that it's gonna take you to the terminal right away this is how the terminal look the last i remember uh open bb terminal you could download as well i don't see that now i used to have the terminal downloaded but again i don't see that now i have too, too much has changed with this product so this is how the terminal looks it's almost like you know just go make it full screen and it will look like the terminal by the way on the right hand side is the copilot that i was talking about hello i'll just drop a question hello and how can i assist you probably tell me about amazon and it's gonna probably figure out what amazon is on the right hand side it's accessing the wizard data from the dashboard and again, as I said, I'm going to do a much more deeper dive into these capabilities. Shameless plug, I'm building a course where I want to share how to build an AI agent, which can do a lot of analysis, which can actually automate a lot of analysis. So you connect to a couple of sources or the data sources, probably our finance is what I'm going to use as a standard. And you build the AI agent, which does all the automations, connects, etc and can throw you on a daily basis some sort of telegram message or whatsapp message depending on the form of communication so yeah i'll keep i'll make the announcement about the course pretty soon so yeah this is the copilot i am not going to talk about it right now so i'm just going to clear the messages and hide the copilot so the base view of the terminal on the top you have overview financials and i've just selected a ticker by the way you can take anything right now it's amazon i don't know if it has it's probably not connected to oh it is connected to nsc okay great so i'll use something which is my favorite sbin which is state bank of india all right so it has pulled state bank of india most of the information and it has given me a description here of the company which is you know a, a bunch of standard definition there are some matrices which are some fundamentals around it there is some statistics the management information i think this data is pulled probably from yahoo finance i don't know and then looking at different valuations no idea where it is picking the valuation matrices as well i am not clued into the sources that this is connecting to probably my best case is yahoo finance but there's also i will we'll check the second is connectors again this is more of a deep dive into this we will open the, the conversation the second is the connector so sorry the second is financial so everything literally the whole balance sheet is available and you can change the time duration i'm pretty sure uh, you, you can see and sort through it technical analysis it will give you a well <clears throat> nothing big here charting library go up to five years and you can see things it's a very very standard charting library Comparison analysis it throws at you. You can add something like comparison. For example, if I do ICICI Bank, again, not apples to apples, but it will do some sort of a comparison analysis, like tell you the P, PS, PB, EBITDA, dividend yield, and you can add, sorry, this keeps copilot. And you can do this, like keep on adding variables, I'm pretty sure of it. Valuation multiples, financial ratios, a lot of different financial ratios, liquidity, efficiency, profitability, coverage, too much. I, I don't think I know all of this. Goes to ownership, then let's go to ownership. No information available, or probably the older information. Okay. No, I there's no information available. Company calendar. Maybe let me go back and select something like Amazon, which has probably more data. So I'm hoping that, yeah, they have some ownership information for Amazon and then couple of other tabs which were empty so they have all the news available for all of it so i mean it's basically driven by the source so as you plug in a source which provides more data it's gonna throw you more stuff at you like see i'm for amazon it has geographical revenue also as well which is crazy i've never thought of it this way and ownership we have looked at then you have company calendar which which basically shows you what's happening quarter by quarter or sort of dividend information if this has been stock splits company filing and a bunch of analyst estimations this is also very good to see what people are projecting and simulating about so for example if you are based out of india and let's go to state bank not sure if you are going to get this information no there is no information available maybe let's try for something else hdfc bank i mean i hope i have something for hdfc no none uh, so again the data source is significantly important here i have i have not seen this example before actually trying it live 
but these are interesting right it shows you what the closing prices and what the price targets are being estimated so great i mean 2025 amazon is really really bullish i mean it's kind of very interesting chart and then the analyst estimate and EBITDA pre-tax income yeah good numbers I think we'll have to dig more deeper into this to be able to actually understand all of these in better then let's go to the left hand side which is how to actually use this tool so you have data connectors offers you a lot of different options package data which is bunch of different sources that it has I think yeah these are the sources where it is pulling the data I believe so if you have the pro feature it can have trading economics data which is good i might subscribe to this if this is you know not very costly then there is economic and financial data from econ db which is which is quite nice and then in my data you have a lot of api endpoints databases which are pro features you can add data you can then select the endpoint custom backend iframe rss and databases are again locked like SQL and all of that. There are a lot of templates for different kind of work that you can do. There are Excel templates as well. But an Excel template is mostly, you know, like powered by the OpenBB Terminal Pro. So you have an equity view and you have an analysis view. And then in the Pro dashboard, you have different templates like analyst, equity, country, economics, calendar, comparison calendar, a bunch of stuff. That is super, super useful. And then you have different dashboard like charting dashboard news dashboard etc etc you can you can create your own dashboard like whatever you want so you can have a data connection you can use templated all of that and 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 that's what loosely this tool does then you have a bunch of options on the settings and you can you know play with it like i like black dark theme i can go to probably a white theme and things would change fonts are big i want to make them small decimal places four default i don't want apple all the time i want amazon or probably pagination would be better etc etc so yeah these are more you know quality of life discussions i would say let's go back to charting dashboard yeah so so these are the core you know capabilities that this tool has i'm gonna switch back to dark mode layout snap yeah all of these are just you know configurations for the tool itself so yeah that's that's pretty much it about open bb and i think the value comes in digging inside and using it maybe even customizing it i will definitely reach out to pro for the to the team for pro mode and then also in the next video cover the whole you know ai capabilities just to show what can be done and has been done cool so if you liked this video a casual conversation around open bb and you want to learn more go more deep Please let me know. Until next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.